Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval. Last time we uh, we got hopelessly lost in the ant caves, and I still am hopelessly lost in the ant caves. Um, I have no idea where to go. I am really, really stuck. Well, not really, really stuck, just partially stuck. I have to find some fairies. Not the ones fluttering around my head, of course, but uh, some other fairies. I already got all the amber that I needed for this witch lady, and there we go, a fairy. Okay, so what, there are two more left? Two more left before we can confront the Ant Queen if we ever find her? Um, the Ant Queen is the way we get out, I believe. Ah, oh, wow, that was close. That fairy was close by. Awesome. Okay, so one left. I guess we don't have to worry as much. Ah, oh, more amber. We don't necessarily need any more. I should probably stop smashing ant babies. Or ant larva. Um, that's kind of rude that I'm smashing all the ant larva. Yeah, the queen probably won't like that. That would not... I should probably stay on good terms with the queen. Instead of sma smash all the larva. But the larva are so gross looking. Oh my gosh. There's the last one. Hey there. I will help you. Hey there, can you help me? You said you'd give me a reward. You just kind of disappeared. Okay. Um, I sp this looks like the Ant Queen. If you are brave enough to go beyond this point, you will enter the chamber of the dreaded Ant Queen. Be aware, once you have encountered her six-legged regalness, there will be no going back. Okay, um... Well, I guess we'll have to encounter her, encounter her in a bit. If I can fight all these freaking ants everywhere. My gosh. Okay, hey there, Mr. Dude. I want some of these. Because I believe those are quite helpful during this fight. I think I remember using them when I played this game. Um, go away, seriously. Maybe if I just left the larva alone, they'd leave me alone. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's refill our health. And maybe if I left the workers alone. Okay, so we freed all of the fairies, and we can go in here. Hey there, Ant Queen. I'm going to equip my uh, my crossbow. Let's get down there. Hey there, Ant Queen. How are you? Where are you? Hello? Oh gosh, this is... Oh, there she is. Wow, she's gigantic. Hello? Oh boy! Shoot, I'm getting, like, shot at and stuff. Not shot at, I'm getting attacked by ants. Shoot them. Shoot the queen. I can't even remember how to hurt her. No, no, you have to smash her, don't you? I, I can't remember any, any of these fights. Smash her. Take her down. No, don't smash her. Don't follow my advice. That just got me hurt really badly. Okay, what's she doing? Seriously. Crossbow time. Yeah, it totally is. Sh oh yeah, it is shoot the ant queen because she exposes her belly. Duh, of course. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Okay, so get out my uh, my hammer. Okay, I totally understand how to fight her now. Okay, I don't know if I'll survive this fight. I don't want to run through the ant caves again. That would not be fun. I should probably equip. Re Stop it! No, I want my. I want my crossbow controller. Thank you. Gosh. Picky. Okay, let's stay away from the giant falling boulders. Let's get a couple good shots in. As many as we can, actually. There we go. Yeah, the crossbow is definitely the best for that situation. Just because it gets so much done. It gets so much damage done. Do these things act as, like, regaining health? I don't know. I'm sorry I'm smashing your children. I thought it would give me health, but it didn't. Do you... you give me health? No. Okay. Hey there! Ow! Come on, do your thing! Do your thing with the spitty spit. Spit at me. Giant boulder... No, not spitty spit, I meant boulders. Boulders, please. Ow! Are you kidding me? Come on, boulders. I need boulders. There we go. There we go, thank you. Eat crossbow, you evil 
well, maybe not evil, you slightly peaceful creature. She's not really peaceful, but she's not really not peaceful either, if you think about it. Really, there's not a lot of boss fight music to this, if you listen. It's just kind of like the dripping of the cave and her, like the noises she's making. There's, the, of course, the boss battle theme in the background, but not much other than that. Okay, out of throwing... What happens when you run out of, like, throwing darts and stuff on this? Would you just... Would, like, the fight be impossible if you ran out? I don't know. Um, thank goodness, though, that I have plenty. I, I think I... I, have, I totally have enough throwing, like, throwing knives to finish this. I'm just going to have to mash the button. My gosh, she keeps hitting me. She's a really good shot with the spit. Okay. Come on, boulders! My gosh! Stop sitting around! Make some boulders crush me! Well, don't crush me. I would prefer not to be crushed. To hit her! My gosh, these things are... These things are way harder to use than the crossbow. Come on, just a few more hits. There we go, she is down. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Ew, she's split in half. That's kind of gross. There we go. And, ew, we get out by... Crawling on her? I have no idea. The fairy said they'd give me a reward. Where's my reward? Oh well. I hope I get something. Let's just get on out of here. Oh, there's the fairies. Bless me. If it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shriek spell. <laughs> Lovely Amber. Here you are tonight. A wart covered in cabbage smelling old crow. I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. <laughs> Receive the chicken drumstick. You have helped to free all the fairy people from the clutches of the filthy and scum. As a reward, I can grant you to the Hall of Heroes. I've never been there myself, but I've heard they got a free bar. Ah, oh, thank you for taking me to the Hall of Heroes, sir. I rather appreciate that, actually. I don't want to have to, like, find a way out of the, uh, Enchanted Earth. Yeah, we got the chicken drumstick. It... It's kind of a, uh... <laughs> A th it's a thrown item, <laughs> but it's it's kind of funny. It's uh, the chicken drumstick. Ooh, and we can actually get something. I didn't think they'd let me get anything, but I guess the fairies act as like kind of a chalice. Fortescue, you jawless arrow magnet, what are you doing back here? <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. How I pity the people of Galomir that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you. Still, I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. <laughs> ah, yes. The broadsword. This thing is awesome. It's way better than the short sword. Um, it looks like it has a percentage, though. I, I think that's for something later, though. We, it's... Oh yeah, it gets an, you can enchant it later. Right now we don't have it enchanted though. It's just a normal, ordinary hacky slash broadsword. We'll get an enchanted later though. I'm not sure if we get a free enchantment or, or if we have to buy it from the other uh, merchant gargoyle though. It doesn't stay enchanted forever. That's what I'm pretty sure of. I would love to save my progress. I do not want to play the ant the ant caves again. Thank you. Overwrite existing save. 
Oh, apparently we're going back to the Enchanted Earth. I didn't mean to do that, but, uh, oh well. We've already seen that cutscene. Welcome back to the Enchanted Earth. Uh, we'll try to get something in here. I know of, uh, I know of one thing we can do. You can't really get the Chalice here until much, much later. There's, uh, the area has a certain thing in it that all the enemies that you can really, that really, like, damage you, or not damage you, that, like, are really, like, really contribute towards the chalice, only appear later on when you, uh, when you meet a certain requirement and get a certain item. And that certain item comes from, like, an area that you can get to by going through the, uh, the scarecrow fields, which... I really need to head back there, but I have no idea what to do. Ouch, we can't go up there. I forgot about that. Okay, let's not do that. Um, this broadsword is sweet. I love this thing. It really, really works well. Okay, like a giant magpie, the dragonbird sits upon its hoard of stolen treasures. High above the trees, you will find a nest. Those eggs are worth their weight in gold. Hmm, I guess we should go get a dragonbird egg. This is, yet again... The, uh, the dragon bird is yet again another boss in this area. Um, I don't think he's... I, uh, I can't remember if the how bad the dragon bird is. I think the only bad thing that I... I uh, well, the thing I, li I don't like about the dragon bird is that we're going to be climbing up this giant tree and it easily pushes you off. Actually, wait. What do you do up there? I don't think you steal an egg. I know what you do. You push the eggs out of the nest. <laughs> Like a good person who pushes birds' eggs out of their nest. Highly cruel, highly rude. Yep, that's Daniel Fortescue for you. <laughs> no, Daniel Fortescue is lovable and brave and cool. Um, and this thing needs to go. There we go. Um, and look, we get a lovely scenic ride up to the top of this giant tree. I don't know if you can jump while riding this, but I don't think I would, just because it may not be safe. And looky there, we're riding up into the clouds, high above the, uh, the wood, the enchanted earth. And here we are up at the top. Somehow the frogs got all the way up here. Ah, tree frogs, never mind. That was stupid, that was a stupid question. And, uh, let's slay these tree th frogs. I probably shouldn't, because, just because you have to fight the dragon bird up here. Um, let's climb up these giant shelf mushrooms. Oh my goodness, those are huge. The Enchanted Earth is pretty crazy. Um, I wish I could see where I was jumping. There we go. Welcome to the top. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Dragon Bird is not a boss fight, actually. Instead, the Dragon Bird is... It's a, it's a creature. It's a beautiful creature that doesn't like it when you push its eggs off its nest and steal its treasure. I wonder if it actually has something of worth, though. A uh, copper shield. This one has to have, some, have something cool in it. I'm pr there has been a lot of genocide in the past few episodes of just innocent animal creatures. There has been the genocide of the ants, There's and now there is genocide of, um... What is it called? Dragon birds. We have smashed eggs. Oh, gosh. Come back up, please. Ooh, thank you. I thought, uh, uh, a uh, game, um, game, uh, game. Seriously, really, really, that was real cool of you right there. <laughs> really, that wasn't nice. I don't accept things like that in my house. That was pretty rude. Okay, let's get down. At least we can, like, trust that we can fall off here and just sustain little damage. Hopefully not die. Oh my gosh, that was a little rude. <laughs> okay, welcome to the bottom, where there is actually ground that we don't have to worry about. Well, except for the Tree Frogs of Doom. Okay, hey there, Tree Frog of Doom, I have a broadsword. I'm just gonna swing it wildly at you. Not the way you fight with the sword. Don't swing it wildly. Um, anything in here? What is the point of that? I have no idea. Um, may, it might be for later. Can't go there. What do, I, what do I use this thing for? I just have, like, this random amulet. Not amulet, um, glyph. Oh, it's this door over here. Nice. Okay. Oh, great. I see water. 
I see water. Oh, great. We're going to see if we'll make it across. Gate leads to Tomb of the Shadow Demons. Woo! Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like death water. However, it's not as hard to jump across before. Ow! Kill the fog! Jeez. Hate these frogs. No! Oh! That makes me really, really, really mad. The end of the level's past there, too. Ah, oh, this game. I love this game, but I forgot how ridiculously hard its platforming is. Time to load a new game. Oh my god. Let's return to the Enchanted Earth. Holy crap. I guess I'm going to finish that off screen, guys. Um, not finish the level. I'm going to make it back to that part, though, off screen. I don't want to show all that again. That's going to totally waste your time. Sorry that this game has water in it. Oh my god. I can't wait till we just reach a point where it's dry. Straight up dry. Which I'm pretty sure that never happens. I will encounter... Well, no. No, there are places without water. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to encounter problems with water throughout the entire game. And I'm just going to have to deal with it. Oh my gosh. I have to learn to control my rage towards this game sometimes. Oh my gosh. Just Where did I lose all my health? Probably from some previous world. Let's go regain our health and end the episode. Then we'll go up to the dragon bird thing. Break its eggs and... I'll do I'll do the like mass genocide of the dragon bird off screen. <laughs> we'll get back to uh, the extinction of species in the next episode. That sounds horrible. I'm sorry. I don't promote genocide or or mass killing animals. That's horrible. But that's what Daniel Fortescue's doing, and Daniel Fortescue needs to take some lessons on morals because he obviously does not have very good ones. Get out of here, frog. Okay. Um, I need to slay this frog, too, just to be even. I don't like these frogs. Evil, evil frogs. Okay, I'm gonna head up here, off-screen, and get everything done up here. And, uh, ooh, excuse me. But, uh, I'd like to say thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Medieval. Bye, guys.